This week's feast... Banana pizza. This week we're making something from Doug! Yes! My favoriteest cartoon ever growing up! More than Rugrats? Yes. Well, I loved Rugrats. My brother really loved Rugrats. Oh. And I love Doug. I love Doug, too. So much. He was so awesome. The show is so creative. Mm -hmm. I am loving being Ashley Mayonnaise right now! <laughs> Ashley Mayonnaise. Ashley Mayonnaise. I'm just Doug Jimmy. Jimmy Funny. Jimmy Funny. Eh, That's a good one. That sounds like I'm just talking about How Jimmy about Doug Wong? Funny. Doug Wong. Doug Wong. <laughs> Dude, that's like my, Mayonnaise. That's like my cousin's name is Doug Wong. No way. <laughs> I asked you before we started, do you like uh, Hawaiian pizza? And the answer is no. <laughs> I do not. Because the closest I can think of, of banana pudding pizza is Hawaiian pizza because it's a sweet element on top of a savory pizza. And if you don't like Hawaiian pizza... We shall see. We shall see. Still, All right. nevertheless, super excited about this recipe. It's going to be really fun. I hope you guys remember the episode. Hilarious. I remember being really mad at Roger for ruining their pizza and their moment. But turns when out. When this happened. It, you know, it brought them closer together. All right, let's get started, Ashley. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Woo! Woo! We're bringing yeah. Doug to life right now. <laughs> Doug and Patty are excellent together in the kitchen, but of course, it only takes one bad Roger to mess things up. Banana pudding meets regular pizza in this episode, but it turns out everyone loves the combination. So let's get started. If we're making pizza from scratch, the first step is our dough. This easy recipe has no yeast. It's just a combination of flour, water, baking powder, olive oil, and honey. Mix this together until the dough starts to form a rough ball, approximately three to four minutes. Remove the dough and begin to flatten it out on a floured surface. Use a rolling pin on the dough until it is fairly thin, then use a knife or pizza cutter to carve out a rough circle, and then use your rolling pin again to finalize and even out the shape. Brush and coat the surface with olive oil, then dollop on your tomato sauce and spread it evenly across. Sprinkle some mozzarella and Parmesan cheese on top, then work your way around the pizza, pinching the edges to form a light crust. Once this is done, bake it in the oven and get ready to make some pudding. For simplicity, use a store-bought pudding mixture and refrigerate it after whisking the ingredients together. Add in some freshly cut banana slices and continue to whisk, then stir in some whipped cream to top it all off. Once your pizza is done, it's time... Well, to do the unthinkable. Yep, just slap some banana pudding on top as though it was dropped from a very high distance. Slather it around. It's everything you've dreamed of and more. Oh, and sprinkle some more banana slices on top for good effect. Voila, banana pudding. It's pretty wild, isn't it? This definitely ranks high on our craziest looking feasts ever, so we decided to design our own artisan version, which is the same pizza base, but layered with banana slices as though they were pepperoni, and then adorned with goat cheese and drizzled with honey. If Doug and Patty were to sell their pizza at a real shop, we think it might look something like this. Hope you enjoy it. Oh gosh, Oop. you're dripping! <laughs> All right, are That's you ready? That's a good tactic. Maybe I'll just drip it all off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but everyone's going crazy over our banana pizza. Okay, you know what? I gotta say, I'm not excited to taste this, really. But I'm so excited about this episode and this show and the fact that we are able to bring it to life on Feast of Fiction because that's what this show is about, bringing dreams to reality. Yeah, this is a dream come true for someone. You ready? Cheers. Cheers. Huh. Huh. <laughs> it's like having dinner and dessert at the same time. <laughs> it is. There are a lot of layers happening. Except I had dessert first. And then it mixes together. That is weird. Yeah, that's really strange. Well, they say sweet and savory are a good mix. <laughs> you just took a bite of the pizza without any pudding on it. <laughs> Usually I'm very positive about all the feasts we make because I like to taste everything, but I just, I can't make my mind up about this. Hmm. However, we did make our alternate version. We have Doug Funny's banana pizza here on set. <laughs> uh, it's got some goat cheese yep. and honey drizzled over the banana. So this is much closer to a Hawaiian pizza, I think. Right, and I'm excited for you to take a bite of that one. You don't want to take a bite? I don't think so. Goat cheese, not my thing. Mmm. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. No way. The goat cheese and honey are a very natural balance to each other because the the sort of sourness of the cheese is offset by the sweetness of the honey and the banana in this case. 
Hey! Look at this, Ashley. It's interesting. <laughs> you know what, Ashley? We make a pretty good team. We sure do. Ding, 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 oh, ding, ding, Doug! Oh, Doug! Yes, we do! This is an amazing episode of Feast of Fiction, you guys, and I'm gonna tell you <laughs> why. It has a moral to the story! Oh, what is that? It is. A lot of the times in the kitchen, you're gonna make mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. Doug and Patty thought they had a masterpiece, and then Roger messed it all up, and they were so disappointed in themselves, but turns out it's even better than it was in the beginning! That is true! So we're giving you life lessons here on Feast of Fiction. <laughs> Not only giving you amazing food, but we're giving you life lessons as That's well. That's right. It was a happy accident. And they say a lot of cooking is making mistakes and, totally. and learning from those mistakes. And yep. in some cases, the mistakes turn into something greater than yep. some of its parts. And basically inspiring kids since the 90s to get in the kitchen, guys. Yeah, and the, the, my favorite part is when they all say to each other, like, wow, this is more fun than I thought it would be. Or like, oh, wow, this is so much more, you know. And that's exactly why we started this show. Totally. The There's such a greater story and a message that's even more important than banana pizza on Doug. So from today on, every episode of Feast of Fiction will be only Doug related. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, that was a fun one, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comments below. Yep, and thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys. Bye-bye.